everyone welcome to pearl's kitchen if you like my video give it a thumbs up press the red button to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified for my upcoming video it's all free thank you Prayer does not change the purpose of God, but prayer does change the action of God. Amen. Today I'm going to show you how to make a quick meat plow and it's made in the pressure cooker and here are the ingredients. In here I've got 500 grams of lamb. You could use mutton if you want and I asked the butcher to add a little bit of fat in it because the plow comes nice with fat in it and apart from that I like fat in the meat. And in here I've got two onions, large onions chopped. In here I've got four cloves and that's long. I've got two tejpata, that's um, bay leaf. And I've got two green cardamom and that's hari lychee that I've popped open. Two cinnamon sticks, that's dalcini. And I've got a little bit of flour, that's full. And in here I've got three tablespoons of ghee and two tablespoons of oil. And this is the uh, plow masala. In here I've got around six green uh, cardamom, that's green elaichi, and I've got around six uh, cloves, that's long, and I've got one teaspoon of peppercorns, and I've got a little piece of jaiva tree, that's mace, and I've got one teaspoon of jeera seeds, that's cumin seed, one teaspoon of fennel seeds, that's sof, and I've got one tablespoon of dhania seeds, that's coriander seeds, and I've got four tablespoons of yogurt in here, and in here I've got two tablespoons of ginger garlic paste to which I added four green chilies and two tablespoons of green coriander and I put it in the mixy. And I've got basmati rice here, I've got two cups of basmati rice and we'll need four cups of water. And I've got two boiled eggs, that's optional, and four green chilies for later. We'll also need some salt and we'll also need some cura essence that's optional and obviously we're making it in the pressure cooker so we need the pressure cooker okay the first thing we're going to do is marinate the meat so i've already washed the meat and in there i'm going to add like half a teaspoon of salt and then i'm going to add all the green green chilies and the ginger garlic paste and the coriander paste and i'm going to add the the yogurt and then we're going to mix it all and now <clears throat> you can keep this aside after, after mixing it and it needs to marinate for around half an hour okay the next step is while the meat is still marinating we don't need to wash the rice yet because uh, the rice will only need to be washed 15 minutes before and soak it because we're making it in the pressure cooker so it doesn't need more than 15 minutes so i'm not washing that yet but now we need to grind all this plow masala in here so i'm going to put it in the mixie and you don't need to put any water in it just uh, grind it dry and keep it aside okay that's all my dry masalas i've ground it into a powder now we're going to keep this aside okay while the meat is still marinating and i've put the oil and the ghee in the pressure cooker and as soon as it gets hot we're going to dry, uh, add all these dry ingredients the flour the full the bay leaf cinnamon stick clove and the green cardamom first and then a few seconds later we're going to add all these onions in there Now we're going to fry the onions till they're nice and golden brown. Here you can see the onions are getting nice and brown. Now I'm going to lower the heat and I'm going to take out half of these onions. Just make sure the garam masala doesn't come with it. If it does come, just put it back. I'm just going to take out onions and keep aside. And we'll use it back again. Okay, I'm going to put the garam masala back. And that's it keep the onions aside okay now the meat's had its half an hour of marinating 
So now we're going to, after taking out the onions, I'm going to add all this meat in here. And all the marinade juices and everything. Okay, now we're going to fry this meat for at least five to seven minutes. Okay, while the meat is still frying, now is the time to wash the rice and soak it and keep the rice aside. Okay, my meat's been frying for last six minutes now, five to six minutes. Now we're going to add the dry ingredients that we put in the mixing. That really smells good. Now you keep frying this with the meat, the dry masala with the meat, for another four to five minutes. Okay, you can see I put the pressure cooker in the back burner because the front burner is too high. So we don't need a very high flame. So now this has been, the dry masala has been frying in the meat for at least five minutes. And remember I said to you that the plow in total will have two cups of rice and four cups of water. So now from the four cups of water, we need to take out one cup of water and put it in the, in the meat. And now we're going to put the lid on of the pressure cooker. And now you're going to wait for the whistle to go. As soon as the first whistle goes, you put the flame on medium and let this meat cook for eight minutes and then turn the gas off. Okay, now my pressure cooker has had its eight minutes. I've opened it. There will be a little bit of liquid. So now I'm going to, we're going to start bunoing this now. We need all this liquid gone so till it fries up nicely. So raise the gas up, put the gas up on full and now keep bunoing this till it's nice and fried, all the masalas. Okay, you can see my masala is bunjoed nicely now. There's no water left in there except the masala and the oil floating on the top, which is nice. Now we're going to start adding things. Now, I've already drained the rice, the soaked rice that I did for 15 minutes. I'm going to add all the rice in there and give that a stir. And now is the time to put the salt. So salt to taste. I think around two teaspoons of salt because there's already some salt in the meat that while we were marinating it. And you stir the rice in. And now we're going to add the three quarter of the fried onions that we had. Leave the one quarter for garnishing. And the four green chilies, whole green chilies, you need to add that. And this is optional, the cure essence, a few drops of cure essence. I'm going to put all this aside and fry it just for a few seconds and then I'm going to add the, the water. Now, in total there was four cups of water, one was already used for the meat and now there's three cups in here. Okay, keep the gas on full for the moment and wait for the water to come to a boil and then I'll show you what we're going to do because we're going to put the lid on once the water starts boiling. Okay, you can see now it's starting to bubble the water. So now I'm going to put the pressure cooker on. The gas is on fully on at the moment. After putting the pressure cooker lid on, I'm going to lower the heat a little bit and now you, need, you don't need to time this, you need to count the whistles. So as soon as the first whistle goes, goes, you actually in total you need to count for three whistles. And on the third whistle you need to put the gas off. But leave the cooker as it is on the gas with the gas off. And don't open it for another 10 minutes. Okay, my meat plow has had the three whistles and I, then I let it rest for 10 minutes before I open the pressure cooker. And 
when you open the pressure cooker and you think that the rice is still uh, not done, it's grainy, then you just put the lid back on again and put it for another whistle and then leave it again for another five minutes in the pressure cooker. It depends on the pressure cooker and your gas, but this is ready and it smells really delicious. Okay, once you've dished out the plow, you just need to garnish it. Like I said, the egg's optional. But my family love it, so I have to put it. And then you just take the rest of the fried onions. And then you can put some nice color. Green coriander and that's it. Ready to eat. Okay, now this can be eaten on its own or just with a raita or side salad. So make it and write on your comments what you think about it and pass my link to your family and friends and I shall see you next time with some more delicious cooking. But until then, may God go with you and give you his peace.